After a week-long stay at Yosemite National Park, where we were blessed with awesome weather, great hiking, and spectacular views, we make our way north to our next national park. Lassen Volcanic National Park, located in Northern California, was established as a national park in 1916. It's 106,000 acres in size and averages a half million visitors per year. It's one of the few areas in the world where all four types of volcano can be found. Plug dome, shield, cinder cone, and stratovolcano. Welcome to Lassen Volcanic National Park. Home to Lassen Peak, one of the largest plug dome volcanoes on earth. And yeah, we're going to climb it. Hey, good morning. Our first day in the park and we're hiking Lassen Peak. It's about uh, four and a half miles to get to the top, 2,000 feet elevation. And yeah, we're excited to be here. Originally, we weren't planning on doing this hike the very first day, but when we looked at the forecast, it's just gonna get colder and colder as the week goes. And today there's gonna be wind chills of about 30 degrees up on top. And later in the week, it's gonna be down in the teens. So we thought, yeah, probably makes sense to go ahead and do this one today. It's about 45 degrees where we're at right now. And it's only gonna get colder as we go up, obviously. But boy, it's a beautiful day. 0% chance of rain, and we're excited. I think someone's getting cold. It wasn't windy in the parking lot. But man, 10 minutes into this hike, uh, I'm freezing. Back on with this coat. Starting in May 1914 and lasting until 1921, a series of minor to major eruptions occurred on Lassen. The largest eruption occurred in May of 1915. A mushroom cloud formed 30,000 feet above the mountain and was visible 150 miles away. The eruption cleared virtually everything in a three square mile path. I don't think I mentioned that Lassen Peak is uh, 10,000... 457. 10,457. And we started off around 8,500 feet, I think. Yeah, and you can tell. Whew. Fortunately, so far, we've been on the backside of the mountain where we're not getting killed by the wind. There's the uh, seal. Oh, 
Oh yeah. All right, we made it to the top of Lassen Peak. And let's see, it took us about two hours and 20 minutes. And it was a hard hike, for sure. Uh, you come around some of these bends and the wind just about blows you off the mountain. We're in a pretty calm spot here at the top right now, but just beautiful, just spectacular. What'd you think? Oh, it, is, it is beautiful. I've never hiked in this much snow before. Yeah, yeah, quite a bit of snow, but it's just a gorgeous day, and we're eating a little bit of food, uh, talking with some new friends we've made up here, and then we'll head back. All right, we made it back. That took us four hours, and that was pretty strenuous, I have to say. Yeah. You'd think, uh, you know, a 4.4, 4.5 mile hike uh, with about 2,000 foot elevation gain wouldn't be terribly hard, uh, but it was pretty tough. Well, elevation plus the wind. Yeah, the wind was really hard. Uh, when you come around that one side of the mountain, the wind was just blowing like crazy. Yeah. And, uh, plus, you know, when you're up over 10,000 feet, the air gets a little thinner and it makes it a little bit tougher. But wonderful hike. And, yes. Uh, yeah, glad we did it. Beautiful view. Yep. Good afternoon. This is day two in the park. And today we're going to hike Mill Creek Falls Trail. It's uh, about three and a half miles, I think. And it starts right up here next to the visitor center. So it's just inside the park. So we're looking forward to a, a nice, easy hike. I don't think it's got much elevation gain to it at all so it should be a pretty cruisy hike and yeah looking forward to showing it to you well we're about 40 minutes into the hike and i can hear some pretty strong water up ahead, so I think we're getting close. All right, a little out of breath. We made it back to the visitor center and we took about two hours on that hike. I think we had about an hour and a half or a half hour at the actual falls. And uh, I enjoyed it. I thought the falls were really pretty. And, and the flowers. Oh, those yellow flowers. We gotta find out what those are. And they smelled so good. Yeah, and uh, they're not really in full bloom yet. I can't imagine what that area down there is gonna look like in a few weeks. It's gonna be really lit up yellow, it's just beautiful. All right, well, we're gonna go in the visitor center. And get some coffee. Get us a coffee, and then we'll decide if we're gonna do another hike today or head back. We've got uh, three more days here, so no need to be in a big rush. <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. 
Uh, we drove a, a good ways today to what's called the Warner Valley area, a different part of the national park. It took us a little over an hour to get here. And today we're gonna hike the Devil's Kitchen Trail and most likely also go to the Boiling Springs Lake. These are, what do they call those? Uh, hydrothermal, hydrothermal. hydrothermal areas. The best hydrothermal area in this park by far is called Bumpus Hell. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately it's closed due to, I think, snow. And I'm really bummed that we're not gonna be able to go to that unless it opens in the next two days before we take off. But this is the next best area uh, to see like mud pots and steaming type geyser like things. So that's why we're here. We're gonna go check it out. Uh, the Devil's Kitchen Trail is 4.2 miles, rated as moderate, uh, 440 foot elevation gain. And if we tack on the uh, Boiling Springs Lake hike to it, that adds another 1.8 miles, 300 feet of elevation. So it's, uh, let's see, 1057. We woke up to 37 degrees this morning. It's only gonna get up to the mid 50s today. So we decided to, to wait and hike uh, late morning into the early afternoon. Yeah, we're ready to go. So being the hikers that we are, we're intrigued by some of the major trails across our country. And this one down here is one of them, the Pacific Crest Trail, also known as the PCT. This is one of the three major trails in the nation. Uh, this trail starts in Mexico and takes you all the way to Canada, 2,650 miles. And yeah, we've watched some videos of people doing the entire trail. So, hey, we're gonna walk on part of it. Starting to see a few sequoias on this hike. We're getting that first smell of sulfur, so we must be right on top of it. Well, that was pretty cool. I, I enjoyed that. We had our own little sauna. Yeah, it's kind of like a little mini Yellowstone. <laughs> uh, so from here, we're gonna head back and go to uh, Boiling Springs. Yes. Pond, lake. I think it's lake. I don't know, something like that. Well, the first half mile was all uphill coming to uh, Boiling Springs, but it's kind of leveled off and we're not too far away. All right, so we need to stay on the trail. You can tell up here this uh, riverbed, when it's flowing, is uh, got that grayish water, probably that runs down through it, turns it white like that. Yeah, and we're starting to smell kind of a sulfur smell again. What do you think of this? It's a beautiful milky mint lake. Milky mint lake. Yep. Yeah. 
It does have a unique color to it. You can just feel that steam coming off. It's yeah. just, and you can hear the bubbling. Yeah. It's so unique just to have this forest and all of a sudden it's like, yeah. what do you call, what kind of lake is this? Like a geothermal uh, or Sure, we're gonna call it a like geothermal that. lake. Yeah. I don't remember what they said the temperature of that is, but it's pretty warm. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to look that up and maybe I'll post it here at the bottom of the video, but we're gonna pass on Terminal Geyser. We're gonna leave something for the next time we come to this park and uh, head on back. It's been a fun day. It has. All right, we've pulled off to do our hike. This is the Kings Creek Falls Trail. I think it's just under three miles in length and it's all downhill to get there and all uphill to get back. I think it's got about an 800 foot elevation gain to it. So it'll be a little bit of a workout to get back out. We're up in some elevation from where we were earlier this morning and it's 36 degrees and windy. So it is cold but I'm sure it won't take us long to warm up once we start hiking. All right, my guess is that is the top of the falls. Well, these are pretty falls. They say you can go down to the, the bottom down there. A little bit sketchy, not too bad, I'm sure. So I think that's what we're gonna do to get a little bit different viewpoint. So we're making our way back out. And it's uphill, I'm a little out of breath. But this way, we're going along the, the creek. We're going to see some beautiful cascades on the way up. So we'll try to get some video of them and show them to you. Big one. The marmot. Well, we made it back to the car. There's some warmth in here. <laughs> <laughs> so good. The uh, glasses are steaming. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, what'd you think of it? Oh, those are beautiful. The cascade waterfall. It was actually prettier once we saw the falls, and then we're coming back up. That yeah. was so pretty. Yeah, they take you you know down the trail and then it splits off to the left and you go down to the uh, falls and those were beautiful 
and then coming back you you take a loop so it's it's one-way traffic uh coming back and going down once you hit that loop area and then you hop back on the same trail to come back out but that took us about an hour and 45 minutes i think it's 2.7 miles and yeah that was pretty i a would recommend fun. that that yeah. that's probably one of the prettiest hikes we've yeah. done and we saw a marmot and we did we I saw two of them two of them that's right first i think the first marmots we've seen this year hopefully mm -hmm. those will turn out okay on the video all right, well, we're going to continue our drive across the park and uh, look for some beautiful scenery. Well, we made it to the other side of the park and we're at what's called Manzanita Lake. And we're going to walk up and check it out. Looks like they've got uh, a visitor center over here too, but this visitor center on this side appears to be closed. Looks like they've also got a museum. All right, let's go look at this lake. Well, after making a wrong turn, I think we're on the correct trail now. So we'll give this a try. See if we can get up here looking across the lake at Lassen Peak. We really enjoyed our stay at Lassen. Even though this active volcano is currently sleeping, don't you sleep on this park. It's an awesome place to visit.